Hey, what's up everybody? Josh coming live and direct with another Barefoot Shoe Review. And today I'm talking Zero Shoes, the Alpine Snow Boot. And these are a men's boot in this case. They do have a women's version. Uh, I ordered the men's, but not for me. I ordered the men's Alpine boot for my wife. And here's why. Um, so my personal experience with Zero Shoes, I have very wide feet. I've been, uh, for those of you that haven't watched my reviews, I've been wearing Barefoot Shoes almost exclusively for right around 10 years. So during the course of that time, my feet have spread out the way feet are naturally supposed to do uh, when used properly and without jammed into little narrow pointy shoes with arch supports and all the other weird things that we've taken to doing. So uh, my feet have spread out, they're very wide. They were always wide to begin with and now they're extra wide. And so my one pair of zero, sh zero shoes that I own, the Apari Hana, I've done a review on it, check it out. Uh, I like that shoe, I can fit in it, I can wear it. It's just a little snugger on the width than I would prefer. So that being the case for me, my wife also has kind of wide feet. She wanted to make sure that in a snow boot, she suddenly needed a snow boot to go on a trip uh, with our kids uh, for school and stuff, to play in the snow and all that. And um, she wanted to make sure that she wasn't gonna have, you know, be too jammed up in a, in a narrow shoe. And, and and my experience being what it was with, with my zero shoes, she thought, well, let me order the men's uh, size and it'll be a little bit wider and so I, I think that's a good plan but we haven't tried it yet and so here's the unboxing here boom these things are I want to say they're 159 bucks uh, when I bought them new on, on Zero's website actually no that's not true I got them on Amazon for like 165 because it was only like six dollars more than the Zero Shoes price and uh, being a Prime member, I get free shipping, and so it probably saved me just a few bucks, and I like uh, the return process at Amazon. It's very simple, and I've never had to return shoes with zero. I had nothing to compare it to. I just thought, I know Amazon. It works for the six bucks, whatever. It's worth it to me. Probably actually saved me a couple of bucks, and uh, anyway, so that's why I got it on Amazon. And I will put the affiliate link to Amazon here. So if you are going to need a pair of snow boots, I just pulled these out of the box. I'm going to show you. Check it out. <laughs> um, please do use the affiliate link. It helps me out. I mean, it's a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there, some credit on Amazon. It really helps me out for the time I'm making these videos, uploading it. If it helps you, by all means, please click the link. It doesn't cost you anymore and it does help me. So here is the boot. That is beautiful, man. I got to tell you, just style-wise, looking at it, I would love to wear this thing. Uh, Width-wise, for me, uh, then again, she's a smaller size, so uh, that doesn't apply, but they would be too small for my foot. But man, that looks gorgeous. So, uh, does it meet all the barefoot stuff? Okay, you've got zero drop from heel to toe, for sure. Um, you've got no uh, zero drop from heel to toe, meaning no sort of heel or lift in the back, a slant that you'd be standing on that does damage to your body over time. And in the inside, I already know you have no arch support. I'm gonna have to pull these paper balls out here. Uh, no arch support, so it's just a flat surface you're standing on, just the way your feet are designed to function, okay? Your arches are super strong, and um, <laughs> I'm doing a little pose here for the uh, thumbnail. And um, so your, your arches are plenty strong, they're designed to be strong, last over time, they don't need arch supports. Uh, unless you go for decades and decades and decades with arch supports, then they atrophy, they get weak, and then you need arch supports. <laughs> but better to strengthen your feet so that they don't need arch supports and your arches can stay strong the way they were designed to function. So, okay, no arch supports, zero drop, anatomic foot shape, a shoe shaped like a foot instead of these pointy weird things like, uh, you know, your typical shoes are, uh, typical shoe brands, non-barefoot shoes. And then lastly, flexibility. Now this, I already happen to know this about this boot. Uh, the flexibility and ground feel is less and that's by design, of course. These are snow boots. So what does that mean? You're standing on really cold surfaces. You probably aren't gonna want a four mil or three mil, you know, little thin sole uh, standing out in the snow. The cold's gonna come right through that. Kind of defeats the purpose of having a snow boot. So they did go a little bit thicker. I don't have the exact measurement on that for you, but it certainly does uh, make a difference, not only in the thickness, but in the flexibility. So you can see they are, you know, still, I can still do some stuff there that maybe you can do with a normal snow boot. I'm not sure. But you can't do the same kind of really tight curl up um, and different things that you could do with a lot of barefoot soles. I mean, I can still, let me see, I'm trying to do the taco test here. It's pretty stiff, but it is uh, more flexible than some other snow boot soles. Um, and it is thinner, but 
on that one point, the flexibility and ground feel of the sole. It's less than maybe the ideal barefoot shoe, but again, that's by design because of the purpose of the shoe being to stand in snow. So I'm, I'm not going to ding them for that, but in the best of all possible worlds, you could have a, a, an ultra thin sole that would still somehow magically insulate you from the cold beneath your feet. But as of yet, we don't have those materials, I don't think. So beautiful shoe. I'm going to see if I can talk my wife into trying this thing on and uh, maybe modeling it for you, giving her quick feedback. She's got to wear it in the snow tomorrow. And it got here just in time late last night uh, from Amazon. And um, so I'm going to have her try, try them on and see if maybe she'll uh, appear on video or at least give me her feedback. Okay. And talk to you soon. Not right now. Okay. So she reluctantly agreed <laughs> to put on the boots for me. Um, she's got her, her daytime Southern California hiking shorts on at the moment with her snow boots on. So um, that's uh, life in Southern California. We drive to the snow and then we go home when we're cold. So <laughs> sorry for the rest of you guys out there. But anyways, um, they are, I, I forgot to say, they are vegan friendly materials on these boots. They have a waterproof membrane in between there. So they're legit snow boots. Um, she has tried them on so far. And in comparison to her other boots that she was wearing for this kind of stuff, they are what? <laughs> way more comfortable way more comfortable she she's her lightweight feet have a lot more room she says lightweight flexible i looked at the out they're less than a pound each boot i think they were like 13 to 15 ounces i forget it says right on the website but check it out um so she's just gonna show them on her little feet for you so you can see yeah and then the profile view and show one of the show the left sole like put the sole your left sole like toward the camera so you can see the sole there you go nice little lugs on there for uh, walking in the snow and outdoors hiking okay and then the back of the shoes and then take do a little walk down and a little turn <laughs> even all the way down there okay <laughs> okay so so far so good um test them out tomorrow yeah she'll test them out tomorrow on the snow and we may or may not do a follow-up review but uh so far they're definitely better than what she had for this purpose so that's it um i don't know what else to say oh hit like hit subscribe hit notifications because uh, i will be posting uh timely reports of sweet sales that i find and things like that you don't want to miss if you're a barefoot shoe shopper you know they're expensive and you want to catch deals when you can so hit the notifications button thanks for watching talk to you soon guys